Hi everyone, welcome to class today. Today we are on lesson four, which is where we're going to start looking at evidence for evolution. We're, today we're going to be looking at how we can use the anatomy of living and once living things to determine whether organisms have a common ancestor or just to determine if evolution has occurred. You're going to start by completing the attendance form and then reading and watching these directions on the video. First thing to actually do for class is under lesson four classwork, there is a Google form due now. Um, for the Google form due now, you are going to watch two quick videos in YouTube. The links are embedded in the form, or you can go to a new section of um, Google Classroom, which is titled Unit 6 Resources, to see these links as well. You're going to watch a video on homologous and analogous structures and answer the questions that follow as you go. Then you're going to watch a video on vestigial structures um, and answer the questions that follow as well. These questions won't be graded for um, correctness. I'm going to be looking at completion, but they're good um, ideas to know from the videos. And I will be sending you a key later on so that you can save that for your resources. Final question is, what is the secret word today? Secret word is hydroflask. Stay hydrated. Then you're going to get into an activity where you're going to be looking at examples of homologous and analogous and vestigial structures. Also posted under lesson four in classwork. Um, make sure you do the reading to start. Read about the things that you just watched on YouTube. The first couple questions are important definitions and you can find the answers in the second paragraph here. Then you get into some examples of the different types of structures. You're gonna be looking at figure one, which is on the following page, which shows five, six different organisms and it shows kind of their arm, hand, flapper, wing, um, uh, structures of their bones. You're going to analyze these pictures and you're going to answer the questions above about what do you see in common amongst all those animals and then what is the function or job of that structure in that organism. Finally, you'll tell me why are these considered homologous structures. Then you'll do the same looking at an example of analogous structures, answering the questions, and looking at an example of vestigial structures. For your homework, and some of you might be starting this in class if you finish early, you're going to use the posted video, Lesson 4 Concepts Activity Review, which is in the new section of Google Classroom under um, Evidence for Evolution Resources. You're going to use the video that is posted here in order to review your work and your answers. Then you're going to complete a homework assignment, which is vocabulary. We've done this before. Um, these are six terms that we have done so far in this unit. Pop it up, there we go. Um, they are found on your unit guide. If you're thinking, huh, I don't know where I'm gonna find these definitions, you can either look back in the activities that we've done in these four, four lessons, or I posted for you my virtual um, word wall. It's not as great with my illustrations as the classroom word wall, but it should help you get the job done. You can choose either to do um, physical cards, um, so definition, an example, maybe a picture on one side and the word on the other, or you can do a Quizlet like you've done before. How am I gonna see if you did it? Well, you're going to take a screenshot either of your Quizlet on the page with your definitions and your words, or if you do actual physical cards, you can take a picture of your cards and post it, attach it to this assignment. Um, we are in Zoom to help you as you're working, and I hope you have a great day.